Hello and welcome! My name is Eva and today Unicorn Cosmetics and their the newest Angel Collection. Unfortunately I have only V palette, the Angel palette, but in this collection there are much more and I really encourage you to check this collection in general because besides eyeshadow palette there is a handle held mirror, brush set, pigment, lashes and self tanning mousse. I don't use any tans. Maybe you can tell. <laughs> so it's not for me. I also have enough brushes for this moment. That's why I only bought the palette. However, the whole collection is so damn beautiful. So if you're interested in pigment or uh, this tanning mousse or a very beautiful um, set of brushes, check the whole collection because I think it's worth it. So, okay. Angel palette. Here's the box with gorgeous angels. And here's the palette. Today, first video with this palette. Here I have the layout of this palette. So we're going to use and test every single shade. Today, only first impression. And we're going to use, of course, some of these shades. And in the upcoming videos, I'm not going to say that it will be next video, but in the upcoming videos, we're going to like test every single shade from this palette so uh, yeah this is uh, too much talking <laughs> already so i'm going to apply my p louise base as always i'm going to zoom you in but meanwhile you're going to see some close-ups and swatches just wanted to say that Unicorn Cosmetics again did, let's say, very brave step. Because we have in this palette some shades that are not exactly easy to formulate. And these are pastels that, you know, pastels can be, can be patchy. We have white shade that, oh yes, I'm going to use very, very much. And of course, purples. And also this shade right here. I'm going to use, of course, these shades today because I am cruel. <laughs> there is no matte base shade in this palette, but guess what? There is white. I'm taking shade pure. I am pale enough to use it under my brow as my, let's say, beige. So far you passed. I will use this white in other makeup to just appreciate it more and give it a special moment. But so far it's okay. It's great. It's pigmented. I can see it. It's nice. I'm taking shade dagger. Let's start with not only the purple, but the pastel purple. Outer corner. I'm going to blend it with different shade. Let's see if I can build it up. Yes, I can. Great. Now this is the shade I was looking for. It's not like it's not pigmented, it's just pastel. So like this, the first layer is um, very light pastel, if that makes sense. That's a beautiful shade. Now I'm taking shade Darling. I'm going to use it to blend this purple. Beautiful. No questions. 
very nice i would use actually this pink shade as blush this is so beautiful pink a little bit cool toned now i'm taking shade dreamer let me apply it more in my inner corner okay no question needed i know already it isn't patchy with this shade this color you know if it's patchy or not when you apply it it's like it's immediately you know good job unicorn cosmetics now i'm taking shade wings i'm going to use it to blend this pastel blue I love what I have right now on my eye already. I would leave it. It's just beautiful. I'm taking shade baby. I need to test more, so I'm taking this... Hmm. This is something like... Purple... Uh, pinky shade? And I'm taking it also on my lower eyelid. And I think I should stop right here when it comes to matte shades. I think so, like I wish to play with this palette more because these mattes I can already tell you that they are the same formula as in the Wicked palette so like they are great, <laughs> like amazing, super pigmented, easy to blend, fantastic but I still want to test some shimmer shades. I'm taking shade Hope. Okay, so here's the thing with Unicorn Cosmetics shimmer shades. In previous palettes, they are not so easy to apply with brush, at least not with fluffy brushes. You need brushes that are more stiff, like for concealer or this um, ancient <laughs> spongy applicators. They also work perfectly with finger. However, even on this booklet that uh, was in my order, the booklet about Angel Collection, there is pro tip. When using our shimmer shadows, don't be gentle. If the payoff isn't as you'd expected, use a tiny brush or a spoolie to kick up so pigment and you'll shimmer to the skies. And I actually did it with Totemic palette and it was amazing, but I'm going to try just apply these eyeshadows with, with just normal fluffy brush. This is shade Hope. And it works perfectly. I don't have any issue. It is on the brush, it is on my eyelid. Now I'm taking Ethereal with actually the same brush but different side. Don't pay attention to the fallout because under my left eye there is no fallout at all. On this eye I am just playing and messing up so it's always more fallout under my right eye. So right now I can say that I think Shimmer's formula is improved because I didn't need any spoolie and they just applied okay from brush to eyelid from pan to brush to eyelid but um two things first thing is that on this on this shade so this one here this shimmer shade uh, didn't want to stick very well this is actually sometimes very common thing that shimmers don't want to stick on your eyelid if there is matte shade on it already so in fact i should just uh, apply a little bit of base or glitter glue or something that is a little uh, wet and then uh, apply this shimmer uh, however it's just to let you know that here i had here in this corner i had some of this shade and i had actually a little issue to apply this shimmer in this area there was no issue here only here in this place where i already applied matte shade and uh, one thing is that i don't really see the difference like the big difference between these two shimmers like i can see that there is more pinkish and more purplish but i think like that actually there is no as big difference between those two shimmers now i'm taking shade cupid i'm going to apply it on my lower eyelid yeah i think that formula of shimmers is improved it's different it's much easier to apply it from the palette to eyelid with simple brush 
it's blue. I can see it in the mirror, it's blue. But with these two on my upper eyelids still, I have like, hmm, like I see this is pink and purple, but I don't think like the difference is so obvious. And from the distance, I think that no one would say that I have two shimmers on my eyelid. And now I'm taking Shade Angel, and of course I'm going to use this as my inner corner highlight. This shade actually impressed me when I swatched it. Very not obvious, it's not just simple gold. Okay, I'm going to, of course, clean this fallout that is only under my right eye. Um, I'm going to apply lashes and do my face and I'll be back. Still, I want to test something. I want to test this palette in a country ring <laughs> because there is some beautiful shades that can be blush. And I want to use today as my blush this shade right here. It will match to this makeup perfectly. And by the way, these lashes are also by Unicorn Cosmetics Lemon Mervang. As highlighter, I'm going to use this not obvious, very gorgeous shade Angel. Um, on swatch, it was amazing because it isn't like simple gold shade. I'll do final touches and I'll be back with my final thoughts after first impression because these are not final thoughts. Final thoughts will be after testing every single shade. I will start with downsides, with disadvantages of this palette, but only because they are so not important that I will forget in a couple of minutes. That's why I want to start from them. It's not important, but it is a little minus. It's the difference between these two shades, these two shimmers. I don't think on my eyelids it's so big difference. I think you can tell that there are two shades on my eyelids, like this one closer to my inner corner is more pinkish and this one closer to my outer corner is more purplish. But from the distance, I think they are not as much, let's say, bold as uh, here in the pants. And also one thing I noticed that they have a little trouble when you want to apply them on matte. I've seen that not only in my inner corner, but also when I wanted to um, add this highlight under my brow. Under my brow, I have not only this white shade, but also blending of these gorgeous pinkish purplish shades. And I think that I saw like this eyeshadow is um, falling off from the brush and doesn't want to stick very well to my eyelid. It's not a big issue, it's just like listen, some some shimmer shades does that. Th this ability, let's say, of the shimmer to stick to the matte shade is very useful when, for example, you do only matte look and on the middle of your eyelid they don't want to blend like at all so what you do apply shimmer overall so you just cover your mistakes this is like this is a tip from me to you if you've ever do something with mats on your eyelid and it won't look good at all use shimmer shade with this palette there's no need to cover anything because these mats are amazing and to be honest if today i wasn't testing this palette i would just go full matte 
I would add some more. This is how I like to play with this matte formula. So with this shimmer shades that they don't apply well on mattes, it's not a big deal, let's say. Now let's go to the good sides of this palette, the pluses, because there's many of them. And uh, first of all is, of course, beautiful, amazing, gorgeous, pigmented, very blendable matte formula. It's amazing, amazing. It's pleasure to work with these eyeshadows. Of course, today, as well as with the Wicked palette, I wasn't very nice to this palette and I took purples and pastels. <laughs> and this palette passed the test. I'm very, 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 very much surprised with the shade Dreamer. This is the same situation as it was with the shade um, this indigo shade from Wicked Palette. It's so gorgeous and beautiful shade. Without any issues, I applied it, I blended, no issues at all. Not patchiness, no nothing. Gorgeous. Blend. Beautiful. The same with this shade, right here. And the same with this pink and purple and this one. This shade is stunning. I have it on my lower eyelid, this shimmer. It's... Whoa! angel shimmer let's talk about it i don't know if you can see it but i feel like it it's like between gold but somehow it's a little bit uh, purplish to bluish if that makes sense it's not so obvious and i think it was visible on swatches especially on finger swatch it's not very obvious i very much like it and the biggest hooray with this palette at least so far with these four shimmers that i've already tested they work perfectly with fluffy brush hooray shades from wicked palette and from totemic palette are amazing awesome like the blinding effect is also beautiful and as i mentioned you need stiff brush like for concealer or um, finger or you can use this technique that unicorn cosmetics said that you should so just um, scratch surface of uh, your shimmer with spoolie for example and then apply it on your eyelid and i did it with totemic palette the payoff was amazing but it seems like with this palette i don't need to do it which is good i said it with totemic palette i don't think the application is um, like big minus when the final effect is beautiful but still when we know that we don't need any spoolie stiff brush and you just can use your fluffy brush and apply it directly from your palette on your eyelid. It's just a nice thing to know. And of course, I don't need to say that I love the color story, right? <laughs> so in general, I very much recommend this palette. It's beautiful. The color story is... Well, I haven't seen such a color story on the market. Very beautiful mattes. Very good mattes. Like, look at my lips. Good mattes. Very good and pigmented. And if you decide to purchase the palette or anything else from the Angel Collection, don't forget about my discount code UCEWA or UCEWA for 10% off your order. On Unicorn Cosmetics, of course, website down below in the description box, you have all the informations. So, that will be it. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. So, if you did, like. Give me your likes. <laughs> and, as always, thank you so much for being here. I love you very, very much. And I see you soon. Bye!